but um you know we're, we're gonna go ahead and drive on and uh life is life and uh we're gonna see if we can give you a little bit of artwork i hope you enjoy the show um working on the same pencils i've been working on for a while uh the spider-man stuff that uh that was sent to me a while back um so i'm just gonna see if i can keep working that out and uh if people join, uh, let me open up the stream yard and make sure everything's good. And if people join, I'll bring them in and uh, we'll, we'll keep working from there. So if people join the chat as well. Uh, <laughs> if people join as well, it'll be awesome. We got some other people that might be coming in. Uh, we'll see what happens. And we'll see what happens. We'll take it easy. We'll relax. We'll do a little bit of drawing, and uh, we're gonna call it. A, we're gonna have a have a good time. Have a good time. So, basically, um, I bought this uh, Ergotron arm, which uh, is pretty awesome, to be honest with you. And uh, so I can uh, work some magic, and uh, hopefully, be able to get this tablet in a better better position for me so I can draw. That's all the clanking you hear in the background, along with my squeaky chair. <laughs> anyway, for y'all out there, just say hello. Uh, don't be afraid. You know how I do. I kind of work with the chat. But if there's no chat, hey, Lady Celtic Moon, how you doing today? Should I say how you doing this evening? I'm sorry that I I was running a little late today, just running a little late today. Um, but hey, sometimes those things happen. There's a good reason, good reason, you know, spending time with the family. But um, yeah, we'll be going. I was looking for you. I know I was running late. I was running late. I apologize. <laughs> I was running a little later than normal today. Spending time with the wife, um, you know, she was like, she wanted to watch a movie and chill. You know, we got, I lost track of time with the movie, you know, spending time. And um, then I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's 30 minutes <coughs> later than normal. And um, of course, you know, we're doing the best we can to accommodate. Well, I'm glad that you found us. We're here. I'm glad that you're here. Ah, uh, you were trying to test your uh, stream on Twitch? Yeah, that's not a bad thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I got to spend time with her, you know. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't ask for a lot. She's a good wife. And she just wanted to chill, so and I was like, why not? I mean, oh, you got a second monitor. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm using StreamYard tonight because I didn't want to set up three monitors and, uh, and all that. Boom, boom. You know, just so, you know, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use StreamYard. I don't know who's going to show up or not show up tonight. Uh, most people... Um, I used to Manny streaming on Mondays, but Manny said he's going to take a breather. He he gave me permission to come on this time slot on Mondays. Um, so I figured, you know, hey, let's go ahead and take advantage of this wonderful opportunity. Present it, you know, take Mondays for a change, not fight so hard on Tuesdays. I don't know what goes on on Mondays. It might be the same, but, you know, the most important part is that y'all keep coming back. You know, you and everybody else, that that's the the fan base that we've always had. Oh, um, this is weird. <laughs> Hello? How are you doing? How the heck did you get this link? Did I put it in the wrong chat? Yeah, you put it in Good Dog Press 24. Oh, well, fuck. Well... Wait, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Why do you say it like that? 
Uh, you know, uh, I don't have an issue with you right now, but you know, some other people may not, you know, you know, but we're not going to rehash that. No, What's no, up, no. Okay. That I know what you're getting at, but you know, I'm trying to rectify that. You know what I mean? I know. I know. You I know. know. So, so hopefully they, um, is that a Wolverine? Yeah, it is Wolverine. I'm doing some That's a nice looking Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, man. I've been checking out your show, uh, the IndyCom TV stuff, right? And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, you're all doing some good things over there. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, y'all doing some good things, man. So, what's been uh, apart from that? What's been going on? Not much. I think you know, I've been watching your posts and seeing that you're. You, you know the, the inking you're doing over other people's pencils and stuff like that and uh, yeah you, you really have come a long way and that's really why i wanted to come here i, I didn't come here to shill anything of my own or talk about any come tv i really wanted to uh, say man i'm really glad you took the idea and have really taken to you know like you didn't just do it once right you didn't go oh, well let me see what todd's talking about you you've done it week in and week out and you can see you know the improvement i mean i can see the improvement but i think you can even see it in yourself as far as like you know what there might be something here to to <laughs> been, act, you know actually doing, doing this for somebody you know yeah so it's funny that you say that right uh, i don't know if you can see my screen i'll i share it out let's see i'll make it into a subtle layout so this is from um pointman comics so they were running behind schedule, and they at and I at and I offered to ink some of their page, pages for them. Mm -hmm. But it's basic panels, you know. It wasn't super super hard, you know. But yeah. I did a couple of panel, a couple of pages, ten in total. So, it, it, and the idea when you do something like this, right? Now, granted, you, you're inking going for some really good people over the last couple of weeks, but is to look at. Well, one, to, to make sure the artist is still recognizable in the work. Right, two, right. Two, what have other inkers do so that it almost looks like, hey, this was actually, you know, to the eye, to the reader, this looks like it was colored or inked by one person. Right. And, and that's your goal because, you know, I, I know, you know, we won't even go into anyone else's uh, idea what inking is, but that's really what you're supposed to do is make sure that the because every every style of penciling every artist is has their own fingerprint right right you you, my style is my style like in as much as i try to change it even if i uh dumb it down a little bit you can still tell that it's me you know what i mean right so the inker isn't necessarily there to, to change that now there are anchors in the past that have and i can name a couple and you could go and look what they've done uh on a different day but they've actually turned the work into almost their own there's actually a current book being done by denny's cohen i forget what it is but he's using again he he has used bill sankevich over his over like the latter half of his career they did the question together and stuff like that. And, and when Bill inks anyone, Bill turns that work almost into his work. Right. Some people have always appreciated that and like that. And some people haven't. Uh, another guy who does that is Kevin Nolan. Now people don't, people choose Kevin Nolan to get a breath of fresh air. I know Dan Durg Jurgens chose Kevin Nolan because Dan Durg Jurgens style is sort of uh old school it's kind of you know uh it's almost like burn john burn back in the day it's he's a little bit less than a burn he's not even as good as a burn but he was really good as far as a technical draftsman he's very good so he would right. get kevin nolan to do some inks on his work and it was like wow this is really cool because kevin nolan's another guy who does that when he inks somebody the work almost becomes like his work But that's not the primary goal. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been practicing, you know, trying to trying to get it together. You know, and mostly working on line weights, line weights and stuff like that. You know. 
but I did those 10 pages for um, Point, uh, Point Man Comics. So, you know, just just to help them out and just to get a little bit more experience. And, w- and what did they have to say after you were done? Um, you know, some pages they liked and some pages they didn't. And that's to be expected, you know. Because mm-hmm. um, uh, I wasn't trying uh, to actually redraw anything. Mm-hmm. I was just, you know, for the sake of helping them out, I was just laying inks over whatever the artist had put down there. So I did redraw some stuff, but I wasn't like going to redraw the whole panel. So, you know, so some of those page, some of those things they liked, some of those things they didn't. Um, you know, but it's to be expected, you know. And, uh, but I'm not mad at it, you know, because it's just experience for me at this moment. And uh, it is what it is, you know, but I enjoyed it, you know, so I did 10 pages for them. Um, and when the book comes out, you know, I'm going to buy a couple of copies because this will be my first Polish work. So, right. I think you might have somebody in the back room. I do. I do. It's Pope Fire. Um, hold on. I got, oh, I got Trusty Psychic too. No, it's not. It's crusty psychic. <laughs> goodness, goodness gracious. This is my name now, and I refuse to be addressed as anything other than crusty psychic. Oh my lord! Nice. So I like it. I like it. <laughs> He's gonna find this so funny. Yeah, you know, for a moment there, because I, I, you know, my glasses and whatnot. I read. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> now I've become a says, let my people go. And Lady Celtic Moon says she had she got some bad news today that made um update uh made me update and bro sick enough to come home. Okay, that's not good. I uh, mean, you know, like always, lady, we always we always keeping your brother in prayers. So hopefully things will brighten up and look up. You know, and what's so uh po fire time. What's going on, young lady? Pope Fire's here? I, I only I'm sorry, excuse me, crusty, <laughs> crusty sidekick. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, just do, doing my uh, usual trolling. I see. I see. I, 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 I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Yes, uh, yes, Dr. Bankman, you see. That was the last panel you sent me. So, yep, I'm still working on that one. I, I, I stopped working on on inks for myself to do 10 pages for uh point man comics those 10 pages are done and uh and trusty is psych there you go now we actually got trusty and crusty psychic no we got pope psychic and crusty psychic oh my lord what's fair even more (laughs) oh my lord <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> We're doing good. We're doing good. I wasn't expecting a lot of people to jump on. I apologize. I was running late. I was spending time with the wife watching the movies. Time got away from me. Um, Never apologize <laughs> for spending time with the, with the wife. You know. And then, uh, then I said, let me jump on real quick. And uh, then I, you know, threw the link in the wrong. Watch my jig. It. Oops. Oh, what happened? <laughs> I have no idea. Bye, Todd. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm gonna, I'm Aloha. gonna go get a drink. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> I just want to make an awkward situation even more awkward for you. Oh, no worries, no worries. Uh, no, you it's all good, is, right? <laughs> huh? You know who I am, right? Uh, I want to say Larry. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I didn't put up my little picture, but. I don't know why either. I don't know. Uh, you know, I use StreamYards. Um, oh, Larry is Niobe Comics. He's uh, he's the one that did the Niobe book. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. There is no other way, man. I uh, <clears throat> just waiting for uh, for books to be printed so I can ship them out to backers. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm 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 actually excited because I backed. Um, I'm 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 excited about that part. 
Yeah, it's going to be, uh, soon. I already have the t-shirts and the buttons and everything else. I just, just need the comic. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a, uh, he did a reprint or uh, of well, Niobe. why don't you explain it, Larry? Yeah, well, uh, you know, five years ago we did Niobe number one and uh, people loved it. And uh, when I, you know, came into the into the community, if you will, people on Twitter have been asking me how they can get a hold of the book. So we decided to uh, do a reprint with an uh, exclusive cover for Indiegogo done by the one and only Mr. Josh Spencer. And uh, we got that funded, so people will be able to check it out. I'm excited for it. I know we're going to do a review of it when everybody gets their copies. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. no, uh, I'm pretty pumped. Um, you know, like we should have these books by next week, I'm thinking. So, you know, it won't be long to, to get them in the mail. I got all the mailers. I got everything I need ready to go. I'm just, just wait for a box of books. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lord! We already have a crusty psychic. Says trusty psychic. <laughs> well, we got a pope psychic. Pope, pope psychic. Yeah, yeah but that's actually that's that's not really making fun of me. That's just saying I have a sidekick now. Yeah, maybe I, I should be a cardinal. Yeah. All right, pope fire. So I I read that um that book that I, I that I sent you a picture of. Mm -hmm. It's actually not bad. See, and you hate on DC for all the right reasons. You just need to find some DC books that don't have those reasons in them. Yeah, that one was uh, that one was okay. I kind of enjoyed it. Now, is there a chance that you'll read some new Teen Titans? No, I'm gonna finish that that run since since the first uh, trade paperback got me. It got like twelve mm -hmm. of them, so. I'm gonna the thing run about DC, you want to get to to about four, and then you want to end like you just want to stop, like because after that, usually the four limit <coughs> run is, is uh, usually at five is when they get new writers on and stuff. Yeah, I I look at it. I look at the next uh at the next edition because I'm really waiting on uh, Firefly to come, which is a monthly uh book. So I'm waiting mm -hmm. on that one. While I'm waiting on that one, I was like, oh well, let me pick something up. So I decided to pick that up just to give it a shot. Because I think I remember up? seeing the 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 cartoon, whatever, the animated mm -hmm. of that. So I was like, oh, I think I remember this. Are you picking anything up on Wednesday? Mm, I'm wait no, I'm still waiting. I don't think anything else is coming out. The only thing that I'm really interested in is that uh that Firefly by Boom. Like mm -hmm. I'm really I'm really following that and then you know, I might look to see if um, I actually like Savage Avengers. Avengers. I don't know if I just a monthly subscription. I don't know if that's this month or or later in this month or in the beginning of the month. So if that one's out, I'll get that. And I also like, uh, believe it or not, Ghost Rider destroys the Marvel history. I've been having a blast with that. So I haven't. That, I haven't really been that just sounds like fun. Yeah, it's just it's just. The cosmic ghost rider, uh, going back mm -hmm. in time in different timelines, and and right now he's back. <laughs> he's back uh, in the timeline with Frank Castle, trying to convince Frank Castle not to go to the picnic. <laughs> so, but then you know he tells all his little stories on uh, how he 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 was with uh, you know um, the Fantastic Four at the beginning that the Fantastic Four wouldn't have been the Fantastic Four without him. And uh, because he saved them, uh, and uh, <laughs> and then he uh, he was with the Howling Commandos, <laughs> you know, and uh, and he was supposedly because you know he has a skull. He, he was trying they mm -hmm. they were using him to impersonate the Red Skull. It's it's funny. I think it's 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 like ridiculous fun to me. It's not like like if you're a Marvel historian, you might find it a little bit offensive, but I just find it hilarious. So See, I'm really only picking up Justice League Odyssey. I went from like Rebirth. I literally went from having twelve pull, twelve books on my pull list, and then they get Bendis on, and it instantly goes down to one. There's just nothing good really out. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? You know, like uh, uh, you know. But I, I do go. I do check them out. I see. Did we get somebody else jump on? I think we got someone else jumped on. Let me scroll down. Oh. Yeah, uh, he dropped off and then he came back. 
There you go. Yeah, sorry about that. My computer hey. overheated. Nah. Uh, so I put the ring, I put the link in in, in the docs instead of the dog stars, uh whatever the dog house 24. So we, we may get people jumping in and out that normally don't jump in and out. You know, I, I can go if I'm making anybody uncomfortable. I don't want to make <laughs> anyone uncomfortable. You know that, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll let you know. I'll let you know. But anyway, so we were just talking about um uh the new f- I was telling Pofire I picked up some of the old 52 stuff. Dr. Ben <laughs> says, I see how it is. Uh, Dr. Ben, man, you're kind of long-winded, man. You're kind of long-winded, man. I but just we'll... drank an entire bottle of apple juice, and I have no regrets. Well, it's just apple juice. I mean, I like apple juice. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but it was, it's like a full bottle of it. That's the problem. Uh, I'm drinking... <laughs> I'm drinking like 12 ounces of coconut water. That sounds really good. I want some coconut water. Yeah, now. this is like actually a, a Goya. This is like the stuff from Puerto Rico. I found it at a, a at a store that I would never imagine it was in there. I was like, wow, they actually got coconut water from Puerto Rico. This is awesome. So then I felt like a little kid and I had to grab a couple. <laughs> Have you ever tried? Um, okay, so it's like this Korean milk soda. They're called milkies. They it sounds terrible, but it's actually really good. <laughs> it's like drinking a yogurt soda, I should say. Wow, that's uh no. No, that doesn't no sound I, appetizing. I promise you it's it's it sounds terrible, but it's actually really, really delicious. It's like I wonder that what they were drinking in those dramas I watch. <laughs> Tastes awful, but it works. But it works, but it gets you there. All right, I gotta go, but um, I just want to come in and say hello to everyone. And hey, Larry. well, Larry, you'll be good. Larry, we should play Overwatch together sometime. You let me know when, Pope. I, I got the next four days off. Right now, it's fine. No, no, I'm at work, Pope. <laughs> That's why I got. <laughs> you said the next four days. Yeah. And hey, anytime, you. just just drop me a message, and we'll we'll get her done. Okay. I like Pope. All right. Peace out, guys. JC Outdoors is in the house. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to hit the like. If you're not a subscriber, hit please subscribe. I done probably you are probably a subscriber because when I look at the analytics, it's always people that are sub to me that watch the channel. It's not too many people other than that. Yeah, Goya brand is sold pretty much everywhere yeah. in the United States. What's except that? this particular state, which pisses me off. I but I digress. I digress. I digress. I obviously they said in this state too, but not in every store. Not every store has Goya over here. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that. Goya is just G O Y A. Yeah, yeah, I, I know how it's spelled. I just have I, I I googled it. I've never seen it before, so I'm very interested in trying it now. Yeah, it's good because this one's actually got coconut chunks in it. So, oh, gross! That's not bad. I, I don't I don't want to chew when I'm drinking something. <laughs> then just pour it out. Pour it out into a glass and throw the chunks away. Yeah. It's too easy. Life is too simple sometimes. You just fix things easily. You know what I mean? <laughs> that lady called the Gladul says, I do share and like, but I'm not popular. You're popular to us. You're, you're a steady, steady person that comes to the streams on a on a regular basis, and you're greatly loved and appreciated in this in this corner of the internet. If nobody else loves you, you know that at least in this corner you're loved and appreciated. So say we all. You know, yeah. Trusty, let me check you out, man. You're still working on that wedding can here, huh? Still working on it. This looks good, man. It's looking very amazing, dude. Thank you. I I, I am also an artist. Um, and I see I, your, I too I see your crusty am, am working on a piece. <laughs> and as soon as I figure out how to share, I will show you it because it's beautiful. Uh, I don't hate you, Dr. Bankman. I don't hate you, but you're not in the group, man. Now, nah, we'll, I'll send you the link in a minute, bro. Just give me a chance. Get a chance for other people to talk. Because when you get on, you know how it goes. You like to monopolize. So I got to give you, I got to send you the link <laughs> a little bit later than normal. So I can allow people to talk. And plus, I need someone in the chat, man. Being upset and throwing unhappy faces. You know, 
and Cross Comics is in the house says, I miss seeing you in my chats at Lady Celtic Moon. I know Cross is back on, <coughs> excuse me, Cross is back doing his uh, high noon and he's doing the five o'clock shadow. So he's on twice a day now doing good things. Y'all are not, che- if y'all are not checking it out or if y'all used to watch him on, t- on the high noon, you know, hey, now is the time to get back. Well, that's what the channel is supposed to be, Dr. Bateman. It's supposed to be an art channel where people draw. That's, that's what the whole idea behind this was. That's what the whole idea. Drawing and no drama. Just drama yeah. feed, drawing, people enjoying life, doing artwork, talking gibberish. That's what it's supposed to be. That's been my, that's been my vision for a long time. Just have a nice... Uh, <laughs> Marcus Givens in the house. Thank you, super mod Marcus Givens. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Marcus Givens out there promoting the channel. Yeah, but anyway, you know, that's, um, that's what we're supposed to do. You know, I, I like to have like a stress-free, drama-free, just enjoy good sugar art. Free. You know, yeah, sugar-free, sucrose-free. You know, dramatic drawing says Paolo Romero Art. <laughs> hey, hello from Marcus. Marcus says hello to everybody. Everybody say hello to Marcus. He's dropping his cheese, his customary cheeseburger. Speaking of Marcus and cheeseburgers, have you done your video yet? You say, you got the new computer, buddy. You got the new computer. You're all out of excuses. Mm, what's up with the video? What's up with the video, Marcus? And our cross says, I'm on Monday through Friday, Monday, Tuesdays, Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern at <laughs> Lady Celtic. You are still sub and bell rung. Yeah, we've been having issues with that whole people being on sub from channels thing. Oh, it's real bad. <laughs> I mean, it just with between me and between Nanny and myself, YouTube hasn't subbed me for Manny twice now. I'm like, how am I on sub from, from one of the people I stream with? That makes no doggone sense. Yeah. They've unsubbed some of my best watchers from my channel. Yeah, you got to go back and you got to let them know, I guess. Uh, and Marania Volcano says, before Pablo requested, more bobs, please, digital bullpen. Uh, I don't think anybody's drawing anything with those I can, of proportions. I can, add, I can add some bobs to mine if you'd like. Oh, I mean, sure. Knock yourself out, I guess. Uh, dropping ten minutes in ten minutes, getting an advice on those hashtags. All right, good deal. Okay, so he's dropping his video in ten minutes. He's trying to get hashtags going. All right, cool, 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 cool. Marcus is very talented on uh, visual effects guy, um, but his computer has been giving him issues, so he hasn't been making any videos. So can I give him a suggestion? Knock yourself out, bud. There's a, a site called Rapid Tags. And you oh, Rapid in, Tags? Yeah, you put in something like comics, and it'll generate 30 tags for you. Uh, put in something like drawing, and it'll generate tags. So you put in a keyword, and it generates tags for you. All right. Did you hear that, Marcus? The site is called Rapid Tags. Not rabbit as in a rabbit dog, but rapid as in fast. Because I know my accent. My accent is, is 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 a source of fun and joy for a lot of people. <laughs> I be I be, it sounds like I be mispronouncing a lot of words, man. Yeah, rapid tags. That's I never heard of it, but that's a good idea. Oh, you've never heard of it too? Yeah, you got to check it out because um, it'll save you a lot of time. Then you just copy and paste them, but you can only put thirty into a YouTube video. Yeah, Marcus Gibbons says rapid tags, question mark. So, yeah. All right, Marcus is going to check him out. Good, man. That's Thanks, bud. Appreciate that. Todd, Todd with the with the useful 411. So, what? So, Todd, since you're here, what else are you doing, man, besides IndyCom? I just see you be doing the morning coffee <laughs> with Chester. There you go. That's the one. I can't pronounce that, bro. Come on, seriously. I'm from an island, but I'm not from that island. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously you know about Indycom TV and uh, Florida Man. I'm not sure. You know, Mike's looking for a publisher, so um, 
I'm kind of on hold with that. Oh, speaking of publishers, the, have you looked at Alterna Comics? Even my Skyver is over on D Live saying hello to everybody. Hail Raven. I got I'm multicasting. Um, so I was talking to back on track, back on track, Jimmy. I was talking to K Blonde, the guy who's doing Pointman Comics. He's gonna do his printing through uh Alterna Printing Partnership Program. Right. Which basically is uh when they do a print run, you give them your files and your prints get done with his, uh, with whatever comp was books is running, which lowers your cost. Right. Um, but I don't know much, much, I don't know much else about that. Yeah. It's a good way to save money. You know, it's basically your call. It's called batch printing as they, as they send a batch, your batch goes with it and you get a sort of breakdown you get a little bit of a, you save some cost. Yeah, but then of course they said that it's not under the alternative banner. Blasi blasi blas. Hey Joshua Hughes, how you doing, buddy? <coughs> but it's a way to get it printed, I guess. And um, as far as, I mean, is this gonna be something that? Because I, I mean, you know, I, 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 you can always use Antarctic Press. Um, you know, um, Rising Sun Comics—they're out of the West Coast. They're not. They're not. They're okay. They got they got a lot of uh, books that they publish. They publish they publish it under their banners though, and right. uh, they they let you you know I, I I don't know how it all works with them, but I know they got a lot of books. They're like an alterna, mm -hmm. but, they, but they're here in the West Coast. I, I did an interview with the with the proprietor not too long ago. He was trying to do a Kickstarter to do a paperback a trade paperback, so he can uh, get his artist some more money. You know, oh man, Ethan Von Skyver donated me an ice cream. I don't know what that means, Ethan Von Skyver, but Evan, excuse me, Evan Von Skyver, but uh, appreciate it. Thanks, brother. <laughs> What'd you guys think of his video? Um, never mind. Whose video? Nobody. Oh, okay. Disregard that transmission. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you, were you um... thinking it was Ethan? No, no, uh, no, 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 no. The Cult of Raven one? That was hilarious. Yeah, that was the one I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. did, I, did I lag? No, no. I don't know. You sounded clear to me. Oh, um, I had like a moment where every, like all the sound went out and everything was really funny. Well, you know that sometimes happens. You know, you you would you drank a whole bottle of apple juice. I, I don't know exactly how well your senses are working. We're surprised not you're not hallucinating. Well. I know. I I I shock, I'm shocked as you are. Yeah, Slick Jimmy's in the house too. I told you I didn't know who I didn't know who was gonna jump on. To be honest with you, I threw the link. I threw the link, and I didn't know who was gonna jump on. Uh, usually, Manny is the one that streams on Mondays, but he's a uh, He's doing some stuff, and he told me to go ahead and, and stream tonight. So, I'm not in, I'm not poaching his time slot. He he said, please do it. So I'm, I'm I was just you know having a little you know streaming, and I threw out the link, and I was running late, and uh, <laughs> which is not normal for me, but you know like I said. So what's going on, Stick Jimmy? Just saw saw the link, and I thought I'd pop in. You don't sound very energetic today. Everything okay? No, I'm all right. I just, uh, I'm, yeah, I've been doing things, so I'm not as uh, full of vim and vigor as usual. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. I hear you, man. Yeah, so it's all good. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. Um, so, no, I didn't catch that video, but, um, yeah, Florida, man. So, so that's going to what? You, it's on hold till further notice? Yeah, I'd say until further notice. Um, but all the work is done, and and um, no, no, no. I stopped at a certain point until we figured out what we we're gonna do. Oh, so yeah, it looks sense. really good, man. Say again. I said it looks really good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I stopped at um, you know, I've inked a couple pages, like three pages, and I've penciled pages four and five, and I'm kind of right there. Not, not not tight pencils, but I roughed roughed out four and five. 
and uh, the, the, the actual cover that everyone has seen that went around was uh, put onto Mike's novel. Oh, nice. Yeah. So in that novel, you can get at, uh, I think, Wolfpack or something like that. It may not be what it's called, but it's something. Hmm. <laughs> so because of my uh, advanced age, Doctor, um, they, they told me I need to start using standing there. So I've been prepping prepping the work area. And I bought this Ergotron arm stand thing for the digital tablet. Mm -hmm. That thing is amazing, dude. I'm loving it. I didn't know uh I didn't know those things were so nice. I didn't know they were so expensive. But <laughs> it was like, yeah. yeah, but it's nice. Um so now my tablet is off my desk and and that thing is so is rock steady. I can just I can draw. Right. And uh and it doesn't shake or wobble, which is pretty amazing. And of course, my Helion is not as heavy as uh as a Cintiq Pro or as a Cintiq HD, you know. Right. So kind of digging it, kind of digging it. I don't know what she's doing, <laughs> Dr. Think, <laughs> man. She giggles on control of me. I, I can't help that. You know, that, that's just who she is. You're going to like this. And usually she's only here for like two minutes and then she's gone. Don't be worried. Don't be worried. It's just, it's just po fire. She's just juiced up on apple juice. Mm, she's All just right. cracked a bottle of nitrous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> She's laughing at me, Pablo. It's messed up, Pablo. I'm I'm not done. I'm gonna show you in a second. I don't know. Pablo says you're laughing at me. I feel some kind of way now. Uh oh. What am I? Uh oh. Okay. Now I'm worried. Let's do some bright colors. Todd, how did you like working on Graveyard Shift? Um, it was. It was, you know, okay, so th it was a horror. I ended up with a horror script. Like, you won a contest, you don't know what you're going to get. I ended right. up, I got a really good script from Von Claus, obviously, but it was horror. Um, and, and granted, those books are sort of what the Universal Monsters meets the X-Men. Right. But my particular type of character was very similar to Jason Voorhees and uh, Michael Myers. He just sort of plods along, right, going after huh. his victims, and they kind of run away, and they do stupid stuff like, you know, go into a barn and think they can hide from him, and he eventually gets there. So that's the whole idea of that trope is if you just ran as fast as you could for, for you know, uh, three hours, you'd get away from the guy because he'd never find you. But they right. just do stupid stuff like start a car that don't start doesn't start, and next thing you know, he's on top of them and stuff. So it was really tricky to, to you know type of script because um you you like i didn't really take the time because we were in the middle of the uh, tales from the from beyond the gate right? right so i didn't start my script until 10 days later after i got it uh and i didn't really take the time to go you know what i need to think this out and be very cerebral about it because you have to take that kind of horror and build suspense so what you do is, on a particular page, you hopefully the writer has written the character is in, in a long shot at the top, and then that character shrinks as he gets closer. And you start to see like this sort of, you're trying to build this sort of fear like, oh my God, he's getting closer. So you, you get tighter into the character as he gets closer to the kill. And, and now this particular character I had to draw ends up killing you know five or six people. So it got repetitive for me, and um, you know, this again it isn't my wheelhouse. So it was a learning, you know, it was an education. You know, I, if I, I look at certain pages and I go, man, I, I wish I had those back to do them over again. So cool. I would say the first three pages are really, really good. Uh, you know, probably from page four to twelve is is good. And it gets a little bit repetitive for me after 12 and I lose my way a little bit and I didn't think it out cerebrally mm -hmm. and sort of give it everything I had. And then I sort of pick it back up a little bit, but not even enough. So if I had it to do all over again, I think I would have chosen 
a different route, you know what I mean? As far as composition and, and building suspense and, um, but it was a, it was a tough project because there wasn't really any leadership in the project. Okay. You know what I mean? They, they hand us our script, um, and then wanted to see when, when our pages, you know, like penciled versions of them, but you know, I drew what the script said. And, and so my pages were always pretty much like being passed over and like, okay, go on keep moving on keep moving on um, until a certain point. And then I had to do some corrections, but in the beginning I was getting a pass out of my pages because, you know, they, they were meeting what the script said, but sometimes, you know, as an artist, you need to take that script and make it even more believable than it is, you know what I mean? To make it, to give it something. And I don't think I, I don't think I had the education to give the, that type of script the best it could have gotten. You know what I mean? Horror, again, is just, just not something I'm used to, you know what I mean? Like superheroes need to be dynamic and action and, and characters are in the air. How many times have you seen a character's feet on the ground in superhero action? Right. Even the characters that don't fly, their feet are up off the ground. So that's kind of easy to do, you know, that kind of stuff is, you know, granted, there's a lot of repetition. You're not, you're not, uh, you're not reinventing the wheel when you're drawing superheroes. Right. Right. But, um, again, like I said, I think if I had it to do over again, there'd be certain things that would do differently. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at Pull Fire is typing mani <laughs> maniacally okay, in so the I background. Think I, I think I'm screen sharing, but I don't know why it's not showing it. Uh, he has uh, to you. you have to hit screen share. I did hit screen share. It says okay, I'm hold on. Let me look. Let me find for your screen. Let me find your screen. Let me find your screen. There you go. <laughs> Ta -da! Awesome. Let me just zoom that out. <laughs> I like it. You know, it's it's amazing <laughs> what amuses this young lady. <laughs> well, you know, when you get punchy from too much apple juice, you find a lot of things funny. And you get the munchies. She's got a honk like her from the, you know her the neighbor next door just wafting through a window. I don't know what's going on, but I I thought. At least she's having a good time with whatever it is she's doing. You know, at least she's having she's having an awesome time. It's crusty side <laughs> It looks good. It looks really good. Now I Dr. Venkman says that yogurt drink was acquired. It was fermented. Now we need Pablo Romero to do the busty sidekick. I, I don't funny. think I could do busty sidekick, but I drew that would be funny. We can make we can make a whole sidekick team. They could be like uh, the multicolored Batman. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm just gonna mute myself because I'm probably gonna be laughing for the next five minutes. <laughs> I challenge one of you guys to do busty sidekick. Come on. <laughs> Or lusty sidekick would be even better. Yeah. <laughs> we were trading names in the chat. I put that one in. <laughs> yeah, that sounds that, that, that sounds amazing. <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry, don't let the dead air creep in. I no no no. I'm sorry because I was I was uh, talking to someone on the background. I got a couple of text messages, and then while y'all were talking, I was dealing with that. I was trying to take advantage of the fact that y'all were, you know, moving in, moving right along, moving right along, and uh, we lost somebody. Oh, lost Todd again. We lost Todd again. It's sad. It's really it is, sad. It it is sad. It's a sadness creeps in. Yeah, Lord Todd, Todd that's my old Todd, friend. Come back to us. So, so I'm doing busty sidekick now. <laughs> You don't bust I thought you, I thought you said you couldn't do that. I think you lied I to can, us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one, and it's gonna be even 
better. More awesomer. Yeah, especially for for poor little old Trusty over there. Yeah. Um, trusty, you know, Trusty can take a joke, you know. And that uh, Pofire, you know, she's just Pofire. When she likes somebody, she trolls them. That's the way she shows love. Just remember, you troll too hard, Trusty might not do another commission for you. He's, no, I, I was he, told today that as long as you give artists money, <laughs> they like you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but you forget that some artists are divas and uh, have fragile egos, you know. But not Trusty, though. Trusty's nope. not like that. Okay, so she, Busty, I mean, would she no. be pink? What? Huh? With Busty sidekick, would she be pink or... I guess. Mm -hmm. you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna draw Trusty with boobs. That's awesome. God, you spend too much time with Booster. Golly. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what to say about that right there. But you know, Booster Booster's a nice guy, I think, for the most part. Uh love Booster. I'm gonna do a you know? super happy face. He's he week. just he just been led astray by uh pool fire, that's all. And what? those things happen, you know. She has a tendency to trusty with boobs, says Josh Chris Hart. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, but apparently, uh, Pope Fire is gonna give it her best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Come on and hit me with your best shot. There you go. Fire see? away. <laughs> I don't know if that was crusty or trusty. Oh, it was it was crusty. Never mind. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this should be the the next cheesecake challenge when you get back up and running. Cheesecake yeah, challenge. I never get my shit together for God's sakes. <laughs> Pablo Romero says Busty Psychic is nude. No, Pablo, <laughs> this is a PG show. This is a PG show, Pablo. We can't be doing that. Imply. Imply. <laughs> Big lips for sure. Of course, I agree. I, I'm with you on that one, Lady Celtic Moon. A, a, a beautiful woman should have nice, full bembas, nice, full lips. <clears throat> the bouncy, I'm not drawing a psychic. woman. Draw oh, no. <laughs> he's, he's drawing a ma'am. It's ma'am. I'll give her a skirt. There we go. Uh, Evan Scribers is asking um, Slick Jimmy if you have any updates. About the book or about the cheesecake challenge? I guess about you streaming. Um, I haven't. I don't work on. I've been working on the book, trying to get it done, and it kind of just it's been sapping all my extra energy. So, if if there's an update, wondering about an update for the book, uh, we'll we'll see. It's, I'm I got one more piece of uh, double page spread that I need to get for the secondary story. And then all mm -hmm. the pages will be there, and I can start assembling them. I've been working on the lettering. I'm just not really happy about it. And so I may hire that out because I'm getting frustrated with myself. So, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been trying to do something that's different than the normal lettering than just putting you know, bubbles and captions and right. with black around the edges and white. <laughs> and it's uh, starting to starting to wear on me. Uh, yeah. So it's um, I think I I think I bit off more than I could chew. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, I mean, this is your first book, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, that happens on your first book. You you uh, sometimes bite off more than you can chew. You know, trying to save money, trying to do this, trying to do that. So you know, and it's a it's a good it's a good lesson learned, I think. You know, either you two things happen: either you learn that you need to hire somebody, or you learn to become a good letterer. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I think if I were just doing a simple thing and I wasn't trying, I want a specific font, and I just can't seem to find it. So I don't know. Maybe a letterer would know how to find a font or sift through the freaking mountain of fonts that are out there to find the right one better right. than I would. Um, just not happy with anything I'm using. Um, I don't know how to how to state it any different than that. It just doesn't feel right. Right. And then like there, it looks fine on one page, and then the next page, I'm like, what's what happened to the legibility? You know. Right. Um, and I I don't want people sitting there pissed off at me because they can't read the damn thing or because I didn't do it right. Yeah. Anyway. 
You know what would make I... you feel better? What? Oh, Lord. A busty sidekick. A busty sidekick? <laughs> yeah. Probably right. Something I can rest my head on. <laughs> it's okay. I'm almost finished. And by almost, I mean not really. Uh, anyway, that's the... I. We just uh, got a... Um, Illustrator Monk did me some uh, text for the uh, for the titles, and then mm-hmm. he's working. I did the, had the logo done by Whiskey Paint, but um, uh, Illustrator Monk did this really cool kind of gold chrome effect on the on the text. So mm-hmm. I want him to put the gold chrome effect on the logo so they match. So that that would I'll have that all done, and then I I just put a little tiny box for the trade. Uh, the trade dress. I'm not gonna go crazy. And, right, right, uh, right. So I'll try to keep the um, keep the, the covers I think mean, clean and cool as possible. Right. And then uh, he, uh, whiskey paint came up with this. Um, he he wanted. I kind of let him have his head for the cover, and he he didn't quite do what I wanted for the cover, but it's worked out because what he did will work great for like the interior cover, so mm-hmm. like the back side and the front and back cover. I think it'll be really cool what he did it otherwise with that. So uh, a lot of that stuff's working out real well. Anyway, there's me talking about my book. That's good, man. We don't, we don't, we don't mind people talking about their books here at all on the digital bullpen. And uh, Manny's in the chat saying hello to everybody. Everybody's saying hello to Manny. And Manny said, Hi, Manny. don't forget that Skunk Girl is in demand for a little while. Get it now, peeps. He said Getty. Get it while it's hot and stanky. And get it, get it while the while it's still steaming stink. Uh, I don't know. I'm bad with puns. We need Rick. <laughs> Pablo Romero I was saying hi to Manny. Everything is going well, man. Like I said, man, life is beautiful. Can't complain. And uh, we just keep it moving, you know. We keep it moving. And Boat Fire is still working on Busty Sidekick. I accidentally which... drew Supergirl, so I'm going to have to restart. <laughs> Eat your Supergirl. How'd you get Supergirl out of a crustacean? Well, trusty sidekick has colors that kind of go with Supergirls, and I made trust. I made busty sidekick a, a blonde because I thought, you know what, she'd be super cute as a blonde. And then I realized she looked like Supergirl. So what do you got to do for next? Just man? put a different insignia on her chest, and you got busty sidekick. And also, you have to give her a boob window. Yeah. Boob window. Gotcha. Okay. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I I love how you guys have more faith in me than I have faith in myself, and I well, admire know, that. It's it, those things happen. I think somebody oh, somebody jumped and Todd is back. You know, Miss Martian was actually um, designed based off of a Supergirl picture. Who? Miss Martian. Why do I feel like I should know this? But Ann Moore's Ms. Martian is like um, Martian Manhunter's like niece or whatever. I don't know. They're related somehow. Is that right? I don't know. DC worth of crap. They're not really related, but like she's she's kind of like his sidekick. She's in Young aren't, Justice. Aren't, aren't they? The, aren't they the same? Ah, aren't DC. they the no, same kind of? No, the, she's a different type of Martian. She's a white Martian, right? Yeah. And he's a wow. real one. See, you're, okay, you're, I'm like whatever. you, but I don't know much about DC. Yeah, now, DC now like I know Batman, I know Lobo, and you know Superman, obviously. But I mean, it's it's more woman, but but then they have all these other ones, like you know, I just don't know. Like who's Doctor Fate? I mean, what the hell with that guy? <laughs> Doctor Fate is really he's been around for a long cool. time, though. Doctor Fate. I know he's been around for a long time, but like, man. You I'd rather look at which version of him you're getting. Yeah. I'd rather look at Satana. Well, who would fair. <laughs> okay. Satana. I do like the White Rabbit from DC better than the White Rabbit that just introduced in the Marvel universe. Marvel, Marvel has a bad habit of taking DC names. Like they'll know DC's already made a name, and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, no, that's ours now." I should give her a belt. I don't know about that, but Net Manny says aloha to everybody. Aloha, Manny. Aloha, Manny. Aloha, Manny. Aloha. And uh, Dr. Bankman says you should you should make Busty Sidekick a ginger. 
gingers are extinct now. So yeah, they keep killing every ginger that's in like pop culture, so, replacing them with replacing them with a, a quote unquote POC. I'm just like, do you guys that? realize the smallest demographic? I mean, the very smallest is like blue-eyed, red-haired people. I mean, there's like how many in the world? All I'm saying is, this is your chance, Pope Fire, to give a ginger some new life. Okay. And 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 if you pass up on this opportunity, it's it's a colossal failure. I, and I don't know and do, does the carpet match the drapes? Is the question. And uh, you know, I didn't need to know all that, but if you want to tell him about that, that's between you and him. <laughs> what he's saying is no, no clear all redheads. So it's like no clear all bronze, no clear all redheads. And I guess that's an old man's joke because clear all used to be a little hair dye that women used to use all the time. So here we go. Busty fired psychics is Dr. Bentman. That's where where is the trusty case. sidekick? He is the what? one drawing um, the traditional art. It says oh. Pope sidekick on my name. <laughs> well, it doesn't oh, say anything. I put, uh, I put a little banner saying Skunk Girl is on the man in Indiegogo. Let me hide that banner and boom. So trusty is Pope sidekick. And Pope Fire is now crusty sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Pablo says, this is why one of my characters, oh, then, hold on, hold on. I can't do it on my voice. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got it. Um, All right. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, okay. Let me get my bifocals on. Okay. <laughs> All right, at the stream. Okay. There you go. Hey. It's actually cute. Unlike, uh, unlike trusty I psychic himself. <laughs> I, I think I still think crusty sidekick is the best. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm not Definitely making any busty. more of those. My eyes definitely are hurting. Busty. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. This is why. Oh, and Paolo was saying uh, that's why one of my character on my book, a man eater, is a redhead. And um, so yeah, Paolo says man eater is a redhead. Uh, Pablo says, <laughs> Pablo is a hard man to please, man. Pablo says he needs the bigger bobs. I did not know how to draw them any bigger than that. <laughs> oh, boy. If you Pablo, did, she would have fallen over and couldn't get back up. There's a reason why she's leaning forward. The weight and gravity. I don't know, I'll say nothing else. Gravity is a mofo. Oh, where's, where's my Dobify Dobify telephone? No? I have the phone go off, but I don't know where the hell is that. Because, you know, my room is always like, what are you banging on that keyboard? That's how I type! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you mad at? Who are you angry That's just at? That's just how I type! Like, you, are, you have just, uh, whoever you, I'm afraid for whoever you're typing at. Like Just for real. Type. Like I'm I'm worried for people. I'm really worried. Really. All right. So hey, okay. I'm, I'm gonna get going, Jimmy. I just uh, wanted to come back in here because my computer kept overheating, and I obviously can't uh, stream and work at the same time. Oh man, you, you might need to do something about that, bud. I, I know. Well, I did lower the. I turned off the AC today because it's you know it's been really chilly here, or not chilly, but it's definitely cooling down up here in Massachusetts. So uh, maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. It doesn't feel that hot in here to me, but I got my window open now. Um, but yeah, for some reason it's just kicking off. Well, you know, sometimes those things happen. Computers don't like coloring. Hot. It could be because I'm coloring, and that takes up. Um, you know, it's it's a little different than just inking, because I have multiple layers and I'm affecting multiple layers at the same time. It is it does take a lot more. Uh, yeah, it it does process. Uh, it does a lot for the processing of the computer. Right. You, 
your processors are overheating. Yeah. So I'll yeah. check you guys all later. It was nice talking to you again, Slick. And uh, trust you, that's really cool looking. Thank you. Have a good day, man. You have you a good one, Todd. Take care, Poe. Later. Good Actually, luck. my name is Krusty now. And I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You've been crusty for a long time. Yeah, crusty, crusty. So, so Todd's gone I like again. like Krabby Patties and yeah, but pictures I think he, of Starfire. I think he's gone. I think he's gone, gone this time. He says he's been having issues with his uh, computer. He's probably watching though. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I don't ever know who's watching. Not everybody that's watching ever ever communicates on the chat. You got people that just lurk or just put it on and then just kind of like, you know, just chill out. <laughs> And which is cool. I don't care, you know. How many people are watching right now? Uh, according to this, nine. But I so, never get a I never get a true reading on it. So it could be it really could be eight or six. So um, are any of you interested in trying some Krabby Patties? Krabby Patties? <laughs> no, you know what? I don't know what that's about. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that one alone. How old are you? Uh oh. You never seen a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants? I've never seen SpongeBob SquarePants. Well, I'm, I'm pretty well, old. No wonder you didn't think it was as funny. <laughs> Krusty Krabs, man! Oh my god! I know what it is. I had a son that used to watch SpongeBob SquarePants, it. the show made for kids and stoners. Yeah. I couldn't stand. You know, I couldn't stand that dude's laugh, man. It was driving me insane, and uh. We got Barky Psychic in the house. We got a lot of psychics today. <laughs> yeah, Hi, I'm Danny. Hello. Uh, did you see my other screen, uh, your keys? Uh, hold on, buddy. Let me... Uh... I, in I enhanced somebody's mind. <laughs> <laughs> this should make Pablo very, very happy. Pablo, are you happy now, Pablo? Hold on. Uh... <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, even Von Skyver is sending some some little gifts on the other side of a cat falling off. <laughs> yeah, and here so, I thought this was going to be a dull night. Yeah, you know, uh, it, I never know what's going to happen. You know, I never script anything. You know, we just we just go live and we call it a day. I mean, I, I didn't start off too hot. I put the link in the wrong chat, but it's okay. You know those things happen only to me, only to me, because I'm not ever paying it. Because I, I was, I guess I was rushing to get back, um, to get the stream going, because I was running late. But uh, uh, Pablo says, "Draw the kilivish, the kilivish." There you go. How's that? There you go, Pablo, <laughs> and you Pablo. shall receive. <laughs> she needs eyelashes. Oh yeah, eyelashes are awesome. eyelashes. How can you forget the eyelashes? You wanted me to draw something in a very limited amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah oh. says, Busty Psychic is very pathic, <laughs> meaning good cleavage. There we oh, go. My. Oh, my yeah, Lord. To Pablo's specs now. Well, you know, Pablo's a hard man to please, bro. Uh, I, I, I think he likes, the, he likes the boob window. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and you fixed wow. the eyes too. Well, oh, I just gave a little bit of eyelashes. That's all. It looks better. Well, you can eyelashes up with work. Idea. Eyelashes work, man. I, I I think that should be a drawn in quarter. Draw the sidekick family. <laughs> oh my lord! The whole family you now. <sighs> what does the sidekick dog look like? <laughs> little Chihuahua wearing a mask. Oh. <laughs> Man, look, uh, Pablo says, "Now that is a now that's a busty psychic." There you go. <laughs> she does need goggles on. She does need something on her head. See, I was thinking that, and then I was just because originally I was gonna give her a hat, and then I was like, "Nah, not with the red hair." Mm, why not? Well, because then people would go, "Oh, Pope Fire's drawing Pope Fire again, just with bigger bobs." And that was that's not something I want people to think. I don't like the skirt. I like the skirt. Oh, there we go. Like, don't don't not like the skirt. No, the skirt is 
Don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. I swear to God, Manny. <laughs> what are you going to do to me? You can't do nothing. <laughs> I, can, I can post it on Twitter and cry that you changed my image. <laughs> I enhanced it. <laughs> You're giving know. it pants. I already know. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of giving it pants, but maybe I should. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, fishnets. Oh, oh yeah. Fishnets are good. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> either, that, either that or thigh high boots. Ooh. I like, I like the, I like the yeah. ankle boots. No, we getting we getting some thigh high for busty psychic. That's the way we do. I get no say in my own creation. <laughs> well, uh you don't <laughs> when uh <laughs> Manny's drawing it. <laughs> <laughs> Scene, okay. Wait, no, it looks it. really good, and I'm really happy that you are because I didn't have the I, I just wanted to play some Overwatch, okay? I know, but you know what? I appreciate you coming by to visit. Oh, you think I'm just visit visiting? You don't think I'll stay? I mean, you can if you want to. You know, you know, I've never had an issue with you either way. Whether when you well, do we your fight, you know, when you do, oh. when you do, I mean. <laughs> The only time you uh the only time I have issues with her is when I go to her stream and then she picks on me. I was like, huh? That's so oh, it's even her. worse for Manny. Oh, well, not the last time. The last time I was on your show, you kept on saying, oh, I'm so glad you came. <laughs> oh, so nice to me. Talking about when I'm on her chat. No, oh. when you're on the panel. <laughs> when you're no, on the the panel. best thing ever was when I got Gary to start calling you oatmeal. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> And then I on backpacking's land. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. I like Gary too much. Just because no, okay. he got corrupted by you doesn't mean anything. I know he'll so come back to it. So I backed every interior of Packin's Land except for except for one that comes with the physical edition of the book. What? So when I well, I kept thinking, you know, I already like since I already backed this one, I must have already ordered the book. And then when I got my package, I noticed that I was like, wait, I don't have like a physical version of Packin's Land. So I checked my backer, my backer log, and I was like, that was because I didn't order it. Yeah, well, at least you got it. I haven't got it yet. Yeah, did you order the hardback? Yeah, the hardbound. That's why. Yeah, there ordered was the, some issues with that. I and ordered, he's, uh, he's going to have to reprint them or something. Yeah, I ordered uh -huh. the, the two-pack with the hardbound and the softbound. Because my nephews uh, <coughs> like it, like mm -hmm. uh, Gary Shipment. So I bought them. I, I'm getting them the softbound and keeping the hardbound for me. Yeah, yeah so, the, you know. they had like, they had something where the pages were bent on the hardbound. So they're oh. going to reprint them. Wow, that's terrible. Well, I mean, at least Gary's doing something about it. Like, I will give him credit for that. Because yeah, no, no, but it was would just be like, whatever. Yeah, it wasn't his fault though. It's not like he printed them. Yeah, it was, um, it was pretty funny when I got mine and I realized that I was like, wait, I don't have like the book. And then I realized oh I never backed Lord. the actual book. What is Manny drawing in the background? <laughs> don't you put a raven on my masterpiece. <laughs> what keep, is you, Manny no, you, drawing keep, on the background? Keep that raven away. No, no, no ravens. Get away. Get away, <laughs> Raven. What is Manny drawing? Uh, Lady Celtic Moon says she ordered the softbound and she hasn't gotten hers yet. Yet, excuse me, yet. I took that, that Paolo Romero accent thing way too far that time. But anyway, I digress. I digress. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it, though, you know, and uh, I know my nephews are looking forward to it. So I think it's going to be amazing when they see it. Um, yeah, Gary, Gary does good work and I have most of those. I found a lot of the packing the land stuff he already did. Mm -hmm. Uh, even if it was on reprint and I got most of it. So I got most of the books, but just having the only boss to complete the story is going to be pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool experience. So I'm looking forward to that. Gary is so cool. He, he sent me a little Starfire card with mine. 
Oh yeah, you but you're always there supporting the stream, you know. Oh yeah, and then the day that you um that that uh, you got everybody to go, I won that uh I won that um sketchbook. So hey, that was always good. Yeah, he's always doing um giveaways. So if like yeah. if you're not sub to him, because he always does giveaways. Yeah, I've won I've won a couple of things from him, believe it or not. It's the only channel I win stuff in. Same. I never win anything, but I've won some stuff from Gary. Like, oh, Gary's giving give, Gary's doing a giveaway. I actually have a shot of winning. <laughs> so, you know. I run, 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 run. I, I don't get mad, man. I, Gary Gary's a good guy. You know. Speaking of good guys, uh Many delicious, man. Any, you ruined, any... you ruined an amazing character with a goddamn raven. It looks amazing to me. I think it looks good. <laughs> Poor okay. little Busty, just oh. trying to do her own thing. You know. You know well, see, it's Raven's fault. Raven gender swapped Trusty. That's what happened. Uh, it's 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 Busty sidekick. She's the sidekick of Raven. Mm -hmm. oh. No, she's the sidekick of Krusty Sidekick, who's the sidekick of Trusty Sidekick. I don't know. Even my subscriber just donated a diamond on DLive, and it says, Hail Raven, the best Teen Titan, Raven Radio, hashtag number one. That's I gotta okay. keep an Is eye the Raven on the Radio thing like an actual thing that I'm missing on, out on or something? I don't know. They talk about it, but I, I don't know if it's true or not. But, I never hey. know if they're trolling me or not. But he dropped me a diamond, so I can't get mad at it. I don't even know what that means. I just know that, you know, that's this is what the man said, man. He said, and I'm bringing it over <laughs> to my screen. <laughs> so y'all get it. So This is what he said. He said, uh, he dropped me a diamond, and he said, Ava Boss Carver donated one diamond. Uh, Hell Raven, the best team Titan, Raven Radio number one. Now, do we know? What that means is this Raven Radio stuff real? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it means. I can't. I never know with the cult of Raven. Like that's the thing. You never really know. Sometimes they're serious. Sometimes they're not. Most times they're trolling. <laughs> cult of Raven secret only we know. But yes, says Evan von Scriver. No, they won't let me in their Discord, and it makes me so sad. Like, I just, I want to be part of the Raven Discord. I don't know why I can't be. I mean, I know why they don't want me to be, but still. You can't be in part of the Pope Fire, uh, Starfire Discord and Pope Fire Discord and the Raven Discord. I don't see why not. Because you're all <laughs> immortal enemies. Yeah, the immortal enemies. Why would you do that? I want because I want. It seems like so much fun. Raggedy right? tells me that they have a lot of fun in there, and I'm like, I want to go there. But you can't. Yeah, it's fun. it's fun because they make fun of you. Yeah. They don't, they don't I don't know. I would, I, I would make fun of me all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> but here's the thing. Oh, man, he got, the, he, got the, he got the raven off. Oh, no. Well, I can always bring the raven back. No. <laughs> it's a layer. No, no ravens. <laughs> Let me give let me give trusty uh, excuse me Pope Sidekick some love because he's working on he's working on that Boyden Kinnear piece. So what's that for? It's my uh, character for whenever I get off my lazy butt and do my book. <laughs> Fair enough. You know, but I had trusty uh, I hired trusty to do a commission because I wanted someone that was actually a good artist to do it. <laughs> oh, not me. I, you know, I might get Manny or somebody else to do a second commission, but not me. I can't seem to do it justice. Now I got to do something for Pope Fire too. So yeah, I'm yeah. super excited for that. Uh, I'm gonna probably gonna. I got I got it hashed out pretty much on on paper. I'm gonna transfer it over to digital and keep whittling away at it to see if I can get it to look like I want it to look. I'm really so, excited. Don't tell yeah. anybody about it, okay? Well, I don't like know what it is. I, I don't. I can't because I don't even know what it is. All I know is I got two reference pictures. I got no. I got a picture of the character and a reference picture. 
That's all I know. I don't know anything else. You didn't even tell me uh, which one of the characters it was. And if you did, I didn't re I, I forgot already. Old age. But I don't think you did. So I'm I'm kind of like, I mean, you told me the the motif, the the mm -hmm. thing behind the, the comic, the relentless, you know, the immortals and whatever they do comes at a price. I got that part, but I, I don't know exactly. Well, I what, just I don't want you to say to spoil what your part is just yet. No, I'm not ready to I'm not ready to divulge any of that yet. I just did um I just did some pages for Point Man Comics. Um and that was that was that was all I could do. Uh sorry, I lost you guys between man. Oh, it says Lady Celtic Moon. Uh gender, gender switch pope fire. <laughs> Honestly, that would be very sexy. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what he's. I just lost it right there. My train of thought lost. Yeah, I don't know much about the character though. But I, I'm. Trying, I'm going to try to do you justice as best as I can, Pole Fire. Well, actually, the character in question was designed by Booster and Adrian. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Fire Pope. That explains a lot. I was like, what the, what the, all right. But I'm, I'm gonna do. I want to do something eventually. I might have to figure some stuff out. All right. But, I need to go to bed. All right, lady. You be you be good. Sleep tight. Bye, sweepy head. Don't let the bed bug bite. And uh, who's we'll left in here? Is uh, what is? Well, she's still here, but it's gonna be. Oh no, it's gonna be Manny. Uh, Slick Jimmy, uh, myself, E. Ortiz, and uh, Trusty Psychic or Pope Psychic, however he wishes to be called. To identify himself. I don't care anymore. Poor guy, Pope yeah. Psychic. I feel so sorry for him. No, nah, he's I, Dope Sidekick. That's that's how I'm saying him. He's Dope Sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not a dope. He's dope. He's not a dope. He's just dope. Yeah, he's a good people's man. Good people's. <laughs> Lady Cup is that is that dude uh is that dude a Templar knight? <laughs> it's so funny you say that. Manny doesn't like knights templars. Why not, Manny? Is it? Is is it because the, is it is it because the the Catholic Church decided just to completely delete one of its orders? No, go look at what they believe in and what they stand for. It's not good. The Knights Templar. Mm -hmm. To protect the uh, the Temple uh, Mount in Jerusalem. Yeah. Don't get into religion right now. All right, we'll leave are, you talking, are you talking about that they, they, they did banking? <laughs> not going to talk about it right now. <laughs> or, are, or are you talking about the Cathars that really, really got, you know, eradicated by the church? <laughs> Nothing to do with the church. Anyway, Manny doesn't like him. But it's no, he's, <laughs> he's not a nice Templar. But that, that symbol that you're looking at, is the 65th Infantry Regiment symbol from the 65th Infantry Regiment from Puerto Rico, which is the only all Puerto Rican infantry unit in the army at that time. So this character is of Puerto Rican descent, and he just uh, hearkens to that symbol because, you know, honoring the past. Huh. It just looks like a Knights Templar. <laughs> eh, you know, it wasn't intended to, but hey. I can make it work. Yeah, so that's that's the only reason. That's just a unit uh, regimental crest. That's all. I see. Yeah. Some people don't like it. Some people, you know, see it as something else. Some people have told me that you know you need to get that iron cross off that character, but I can't. That is not an iron cross, right? <laughs> 
I was like, I can't take that. That's part of that's part of the character's heritage. You just can't strip and, and Iron away. Cross does not equate to like a, a swastika. Right. It's just a Teutonic knight. So that's where it comes yeah, from. Yeah. Some people have some people have not liked it. But it is what it is. Like I said, it's part of the guy's uh did I even hear the four forty second division? Nope. And that must be a marine thing, because armies don't have that high number. You know, Japanese re- regiment. Oh. Is that marine? No, army. Oh, army. Most decorated, uh, most decorated uh, troops in World War Two. Yeah. Nice. All, all Japanese. Well, from Hawaii. Nope. I heard of the Triple Nickels. I heard of the Tuskegee Navajo Cold Talkers, um, but never heard of the Four Forty Second. Never. Oh, um, yeah. Very famous. Yeah. They even made a movie on that. Go for Broke. Never watched that movie. Mm-hmm. And I usually try to watch, you know, I usually watch like uh like Pearl Harbor, you know, First Infantry Division, Green Bay. I watch all the all the army stuff, like all those old movies, but I don't remember that one. Oh, uh... Probably if I if I saw the cover or something, I'd be like, ah, yeah. I blame. Uh, I don't know why. So one of my functions in the army was to teach um, history, and that and that unit never came up. Now I remember about the internment camps. Yeah, I remember that part. But that part didn't come up for some reason. Go for broke. I'm gonna have to go check it out. Uh, ben Johnson was the star in that movie. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. Just because like, y'all brought it up, and like, just because I feel bad that I don't know. Yeah, was w- w- done way back in 1951. Wow. Yeah, I definitely would not have watched that movie. But I'm gonna check it out. They need to do a remake. They remake everything else. That they is true. Like, they've done like three Tuskegee Airmen movies. I'm surprised they haven't done another one for that. 442nd. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely gonna read up on that. Hell, they don't even teach uh in our in the Puerto Rico school system, they don't even teach uh, the kids about the 65th Infantry Regiment. Yeah, they have a name. They have a road named after them. That's about it. With a big old statue at the end of the road, and that's about all you know about that NPR. So, it's just people don't. Don't study history. Yeah, but the their culmination was on the Korean Peninsula for the 65th Infantry. That's where they had all their issues at. They got books on it. No movies, though. No movies. No movies. At least the 442nd has that. Let's see. Pablo says, I was watching the Untergang last night. I was going to watch the Dead Dust and after that, but it was late. Yeah, those things happen. Those things happen. 442nd. You know I'm gonna you know I'm gonna look this up right because now I'm intrigued. <laughs> I don't I, it was many years ago was the last time I seen it on Turner Classic Movies. Yeah, it comes up once in a while. I'm gonna definitely check it out. Three minute warning. Oh Lord. Yeah. Well shoot, man. Now that I've been reminded that the time is up. Bankman will get you on on Thursday, brother. I apologize. Things got away from me a little bit. Um I like to get him on like in the last 30 minutes, because you know he gets long winded. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, uh, with that being said, um, oh no, Marcus said, are we ending this early? 
nah, I started late, but I still got it in at nine. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, what? I, what? Yeah, I started late, but I usually end at nine o'clock my time, which is midnight Eastern Standard Time. It's kind of like a thing that we do. Uh, you know, I promised my wife I won't stream past nine o'clock, and it's already eight fifty nine. But it's all good. So, Jimmy, go ahead and give yourself an outro. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about your book. Tell us about all those great things that Nick Jimmy is working on. Currently, um, I'm trying to finish up some things on my uh, my comic book, Little Girl Lethal, which is still on demand on Indiegogo. Uh, it's a it's a pretty crazy little book about a crazy little girl doing crazy shit in a crazy fucking city. And uh, if you want to get check it out, go check, go find it on Indiegogo. Uh, it's not for children, so make sure that uh, if you're gonna purchase that, yeah, you know, once it comes to you, keep it uh up where uh, the little ones can't get to it. But it is has beautiful art by my friend Whiskey Paint out of a lot of uh, stock Russia. It's uh, the art is very much uh, in the vein of um, like heavy metal from the 70s and 80s. And uh, you'll really enjoy it if you like that sort of thing. A lot of a lot of sexiness, a lot of violence, and uh, a bit deeper story than you might expect for something that panders to the lowest common denominator. So there you <laughs> go. That's me. You can find me at Slick Jimmy Speaks on YouTube and Slick, Slick Jimmy Love on the Twitters. Again, that's Slick Jimmy Love on Twitter. So, uh, yeah, come talk to me. <laughs> no problem. Uh, Hope Psychic? Um, you can find me at uh, Trusty Sidekick Three on Twitter, Trusty Sidekick Art on Instagram, and as often as not, hanging out with these guys. Man, we love you here, man. What can I say? And Mr. Barky Sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, uh, I'm Manny from Good Dog Press, and I'm on audit this week, so I don't know what time I get home. I'm surprised I'm even on right now. Uh, so usually I'm over at Good Dog Press. I don't know. My schedule is going to be all crazy. I'm trying to get Skunk Girl done. It's it's doing great. I got pretty much all the files done. I just got to go format and go through the book one more time before I ship it off to the to the printers. So you're not going to wait a year for this book, people. You guys are going to get it pretty fast. And you can get me on... Twitter, Good Dog Press, and Instagram, The Unbreathable Skunk Girl. Go check out The Unbreathable Skunk Girl on Indiegogo, in demand for just a short more time. It's going to go away soon, people. All right. Thanks, E. <laughs> no problem, man. So I apologize for all the inconveniences earlier. And, of course, uh, my name is E. Ortiz, and uh, I'm the host of the Digital Bullpen. And... We're playing around with the times. Uh, I was late today, but it should have been on today at uh, 10 p.m. EST. Uh, won't be on tomorrow, but I'll be on on Thursday again at 10 p.m. EST. Um, you know, Friday? Uh, Friday. You know, Friday is like a date night for the wife, man. You yeah. know, so I can't, I, you know, I was thinking about that. I was like, I might do Monday and Thursdays. And Friday, leave it open for the wife because she likes to go out and stuff like that. You know, I'm trying to try not to be too involved in just streaming, you know. And I did spend a lot of time working on that um, appointment comic, uh, those 10 pages for appointment comics over this weekend. And phew, I ain't going to lie. But uh, but it's done. Um, he was had Like I said, he was happy with some pages. Some pages he wasn't, you know, he was okay with. Um, it is what it is. It's those those are things that happen when you when you're doing impromptu inks on a book that he needed done like ASAP, and it was ten pages. I mean, seriously, that's a lot of work for like a quick turnaround. Um, but his panels were simple, and you know I try to make him as spiffy as I could. It is uh, you know he gave me credit on the book, which is awesome, and um, that's that. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back to doing this stuff. I'm ready for when Manny releases Gun Girl Volume 2. You know, hopefully, hopefully he'll let me ink some of those pages. And uh, we'll be back doing that then. I okay. hope everybody has a good evening. God bless and good night. Hello. Ciao. Bye-bye. Later on. <laughs> <laughs>